Welcome to another episode of uh, Sports Code and Chat. And this one I'm just going to be talking about some advanced analytics. So I had a little bit of time yesterday, so I thought I'd try and calculate something a, bit, a little, little bit off the wall in terms of what's capable in sports code. So I thought I'd go for PER or player efficiency rating. Um, I'm just using a one game sample size. I know PER is usually stretched across like a larger sample. But I thought I'd give it a go. So the format I used was what's on Basketball Reference. This John Hollinger. Well, John Hollinger invented the stat, but I used the uh, formula on Basketball Reference. And even though this looks like a lot, it's not actually that hard. It just takes a little bit of time to basically identify all the variables like team assist and turnovers, defensive rebound percentage. Um, but it's basically just getting a bunch of variables, and I'll show you the scripting soon, and then basically calculating them together. All I had was like, I had some problems down the bottom here with calculating this part, but I'll get to that soon. So you now I'll show you what my first attempt was. It does, again, it looks like a lot, but it's not as actually complicated as it looks. So here's all the scripting just to calculate PER down here at the bottom. Um, but basically how I did it is I have my main variables here. So like identifying the player, the offense, the defense, um, and I'll, I don't think that's relevant. Well, I'll tell you again my how this went down initially. Then I basically created a bunch of variables for the player shooting, player not shooting stats, so like rebounds, turnovers, assists, blocks, steal, fouls, team shooting, and then what I thought this was, and I feel like an idiot looking back on it now, is when it says things like one game field goal attempts, one game offensive rebounding, I thought that's what it meant, like one game average offensive rebounding. So I was like, oh, it's a stat, it's a stat stretched across a season, so what's like your per game average for field goal attempts and offensive rebounds and stuff like that. So that's what I thought that was. And that's why in this first attempt, I basically identified how many games were being played, and then I divided certain stats by those games so I could put them in the formula. I came to learn that actually this does not mean one game. It actually means league. So it's the league average of offensive rebounding, league field goal attempts, league points. So anyway, my first attempt was just that, my first attempt. And it kind of fell apart. Also, this big calculation here, this is one line of script, kind of did not work for some reason. It just is not calculating. I don't know if there's some sort of error within it or sports code just doesn't like it when you're trying to do, you know, like 8,000 different calculations in one line of script. So, well, it didn't work and that's fine. So then I figured out that actually the, you know, I figured out that this means league and not one game. So because I'm trying to do this for college basketball, I went to a college basketball stats site and I got the per game averages for a bunch of stats in college basketball. Well, I didn't get the average, I got the median. So I, I found out how many teams there are in Division One college basketball. I went to the middle team, which was like the 173rd team, and I got their stat for that just because there's not as much stat infrastructure in college basketball as there is for the NBA. So there's you have to kind of go looking for it. So that's kind of what I did as my... Um, backstop and again I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly so if you have any feedback I'd, I'd love to know because I actually kind of want to calculate this PR accurately so I went through the same stuff I didn't do that one big calculation I actually just broke it up into different sections then I calculated all the sections um, in another line and that that did work but as I said I was having some problems down here so at the bottom of this um, calculation for calculating PR it says the final step is to standardize um, adjusted PER. First calculate the league average adjusted PER using player minutes played as the weights, then do the following. So what the hell is league APR? That's what I was trying to figure out because like there's no way I, I looked everywhere like there's no just you know somewhere saying this is the league APR. So I was like how do you figure out this stat here to plug into this final formula? The only thing I found was this article on Medium by this guy called Trev Post. And he basically literally said, like, I don't know what this is. What is this? So he figured, tried to figure it out. And he said, basically, that a adjusted league, P, adjusted league PER is basically calculated by calculating adjusted PER by the minutes played and the league average minutes played uh, divided each by each other. And again, I don't know if he's correct. I don't know what the average league minute plays is. So... That's basically what I did. I got the APR and I divided it by, I got APR and timesed it by the div division of minutes played and then the average 
minutes played in college basketball. Again, you can't find that stat, so I just put 20 minutes um, for the average, basically, and then I divided that by 15, so I can set the average at 15. But again, this from, from unadjusted PER downwards, I have absolutely no idea if any of this is correct. So if you have any idea how to calculate league average, uh, league average um, adjusted PR, please let me know or where the stat comes from because I have absolutely no idea and I would like to know how to calculate it, whether it's somewhere online or you have to calculate it yourself. Uh, yeah, someone let me know because that's really confusing me. And this guy, though he had the same problem and though he did a reasonable job at trying to explain it, didn't do the best job of explaining it. So someone look, looking for that. So I, after that, I got my calculation. I actually got a number this time, and I got 12.14, which would say that he was really bad, um, with the average being 15. Um, like, Darling, at least in this game, was like the Rams' best player. So that he's below 15 is not a good sign. So the basketball reference model, because of that last aspect of trying to figure out all that, you know, league average APR stuff, um, you know, it's a, bit, it's a bit on the back burner right now. But then Bleacher Report has this much easier formula to follow. It's not proper PER, it's what they call linear weights PER. And this article is from 2009. So I might be using numbers down here. That might be slightly inaccurate now to the modern day league. However, the NBA in 2009 might be equivalent to college basketball pace and 2021, I don't know. That might be a reasonable adjustment. But also, I don't know if there's any in these calculations any um, reference to like 48 minutes a game rather than 40 minutes a game. Again, I just don't know. But either way, it's a lot easier to follow this calculation because you're again just finding variables and then multiplying them by a number and then adding or minusing them um, together. So that's what I did. And that's where I got the second number from. And this second number actually makes a lot more sense, especially on a one-game sample size where he was the best player. 31.82. Now, I mean, that, that means he'd be, like, better than LeBron James. But it just, again, it's a one-game sample size where he was really good, so I can kind of see that being accurate. So I actually really like this Bleacher Report one. And again, it's a lot easier. This one only has 50 lines of script, whereas this Basketball Reference one has, like, 95 lines of script. And again, this... It's, it's not as accurate, this Bleacher Report one. It doesn't have a lot of the involved calculations. Uh, but it's a lot easier to calculate, as you can see here. It's just basically finding uh, identifying variables and then multiplying them by some sort of factor and then adding them or taking them off um, each other. So that's basically my PER journey. Um, that might have been incredibly boring to listen to or interesting. I don't know. But I hope you found it interesting. I guess I didn't really show the scripting for this. So if you want to look at the scripting for this, you can. But um, again, it's basically just identifying a bunch of variables and then plugging them into an equation. So again, if you have any idea what any of this means down here, I'd love to know what is adjusted league APR. A-P-E-R. Like Wikipedia doesn't really tell you either. It just says the same thing, like just calculate it by... Um, league PER, which is not helpful at all. So, yeah, if you know, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a good day.